Oh, fancy. It's a 30 minute game on the strongest side in the world. So I think we've got lucky in the last few um, rapid games that they've given us. Let's see how we get on here. Because they are really strong. I mean, these ratings really don't show the opponent's strengths at all. They're probably like a 2,000 in turtle or some of the other. So let's just focus and see what we can do. Let's take the pawn attacking the queen. Don't want to get into narration mode. Don't want to move too fast. Only move fast if it's an obvious manoeuvre like capturing the queen. Seems pretty obvious to me. And developing the knight supporting the pawn. Sights of them jumping here. Maybe we want to be stopping that. Just push the pawn here. We got, yeah, same thing. I was just going to say we got the same maneuver as well. Should we bring the bishop here? Maybe stopping this doubling of the pawn situation. I'm actually going to castle. So this feels like, I'm not going to say baby chess, you know, both of us are just like doing all these things to just say, well, I'm going to stop you from coming here and I'm going to stop you from coming here and no big manoeuvres. We've left this pawn here if the bishop comes. Uh, I'm going to do a baby move as well, just stopping the bishop from coming here. It's not physically stopping it, it can go there, but it will get captured. So they obviously are going running castling. What do we want to do with this dark square bishop? Just put it here. Swing it here, but it's just hitting these. And they've gone central with theirs. I'm going to go here with our bishop looks like they're giving themselves choices between castling queen side or king side so now they're attacking on the queen side so you would think they're going castling king side they've not wanted to lose tempo in terms of castling, so I'm going to bring the rook here. See if there's any management. Looks like they're just wanting to blast through. If we do move the knight there, then obviously he gets the pawn. So can we circumvent that? Not really, because his knight's there. We push, he takes. Uh, sacrifice the knight for two pawns. No, do, do, do. It's been done before. Right, so I think the key thing is we need to be... This pawn is going to disappear. I'm going to end up just bringing the bishop like this, aren't I? We could attack the knight. You know, light dawns on marble head. Could attack the knight. Doesn't have to take, though. He can do a bit of a dance. I'm attacking the knight. We might end up losing this pawn, dancing too much. But it takes a take, yeah, that's fine. Ah, oh, they're dancing. That's not what we wanted to see at all, is it? Right, okay. Dark square diagonal, dark square bishops jammed in at the minute. So we can hit the knight with a smaller piece. And I suppose he's going to come and attack the bishop. Or does he just give his king protection? Smaller piece attack and higher piece can't be wrong. I think he's just going to go back and put in front of his king, give his king some company. Yeah. And we can hit 
but he has got two pieces protecting. We can hit the knight and he just jumps back to where he came from. Knight can attack, oops, excuse me. Knight can attack the bishop, but it's doubling the pawns if the bishop takes. The pawn is going to be on the knight, so the knight then jumps back. Boom. No, sorry. Knight. Bishop takes, pawn takes. Knight jumps here. It could always go here as well, what am I on about? It's got places to go. Hmm. I'm itching to do the knight. I know it is the bad bishop as well. But it's activity. One, two, three. Not sure the bishop will take, but if they do take. Because the bishop can just move back. It doesn't have to do anything as well. Takes. I'm going with the knight move. It doesn't look like there's... Well, they can show me. It doesn't look like there's major problems if we are taking here. Because we are on the knight. Knight's not going to jump here because this pawn will take it. So it'll just jump here. Okay, so we'll see what the picture looks like. So he jumps here. So he's attacking the pawn. So we go and support the pawn with this pawn. And then we can come down and think we're getting the knight for free. So there's going to be a lot of jostling with these pieces. Yeah, I just said. So if we go on pass on type thing, he takes back with the knight. If we leave it locked like this. Then his knight has got protection from the pawn. If we take, then he takes. He's got protection from the pawn. Knight can go and attack the bishop. Knight takes, rooks up. Uh, do we want this knight to get out? On pass on, excuse me. Pass on. He takes back. Hit the knight again. He comes back. Picture might look a bit different. Let's go here. He's taken with the pawn. Didn't think that. He's wanting to do it again, isn't he? So we'll hit the knight this time. With the dark square bishop, yep. Still even Stevens. He can simply drop because he gets a replication support with the pawn. It's not doing that, but he's supporting with his bishop. So we could go here. Takes, takes, bishop takes. What magic has been created now then? So if we come with the knight attacking the bishop. Bishop can move back anyway. It's going to protect the pawn. Yeah. And if we push on to this pawn, takes, takes, you know. We take bishop takes, then we take the pawn, we're on the rook, but then they get this pawn. Bishop's got diagonal, but the pawn's in the way, onto the king. Ooh, what a vicious web we have weaved. Push, takes, takes, takes. 
No, we'll be down a pawn, won't we? Bam, bam, bam. Do we simply just take the knight off the board? We don't have a diagonal in to the king. Hmm. <laughs> Although we do get a pawn, it's just that we lose the pawn back again, don't we? We've been through that already. Bishop takes, bishop takes, knight takes, rook comes across, we take. Oh, okay, but then they take a pawn. Dark square bishop's no longer there. Yeah, they get the pawn back. And their rook is in the, it's down on our half of the board and we're not getting it. Oh, my dear, we could get this one with our rook, couldn't we? Okay, let's do that. Let's take, let's take and take. Anything special about coming here? Not really. We'd get the bishop. Oh, they haven't done what we wanted. <laughs> oh, damn. We thought there was going to be a take, take, take situation. So attacking the rook is not good because the rook comes here. It's x ray through to the bishop, but we can bring the knight here to protect the bishop. Hmm. Wanted this pawn as well, but it doesn't look like that's happening now. Uh, they've messed up our situation. Let's attack the rook. Let's defend the bishop. Nice fork. Well, almost. <laughs> oh, well, they give it up. Okay, rook's defending the knight, so we don't need to get twisted. Let's just bring the bishop out. Can't really take anything here. Let's get the bishop off of the rook. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, plus one. Oh, it's because the screen's so small, isn't it? Okay, let's take. Still on this pawn. Be a nice little x ray type thing if the rook comes to defend the pawn. Ooh, that one it should have been. Double up. Swing this here, looking to support. Or does the knight have some magic position? Just can't quite reach it, so is there something it can attack? Do have a check on the king as well. The knight's getting in, so do we get forked if we take? I can't see a fork thing, but let's take anyway. No. Let's take, let's take on the knight. Not forgetting we have a little bit of a check on the king just to win something. A bit of a tempo if we need. Could be a draw this quite easily again. We've seen these games quite a few times recently. I've got 20 odd minutes, so we don't need to move fast. It's still on the white square. So we could go and then trades down with the knight. Probably isn't going to. Is there a fork that I'm missing? Bishop puts the check on the king. King just moves out of the way, maybe. And just ignores it. And then the rook's all by itself. Puts the check on. Moves to the centre. Yeah, so that's not very... We attack. Then he attacks the rook. Hit the knight. Where am I sending the knight to apart from attacking the rook? 
It's not really going anywhere else, is he? Let's attack the knight. And attack it again. So he's jumping up. There's no point putting the check on the king, is there? Because he's just going to come here. But what I'm thinking is we can take this pawn off the board if he does that. Yeah, let's see. Put the check on. They might not be interested and just go back again. They're not interested. Right, okay. Um, what do we have? Attacking the knight. Do we get trapped in there somehow? Rook coming down, attacking. Oh, there's a two on one here. So we could bring the bishop and get a two on one on the pawn. Oh no, ha 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 ha. His knight's on my rook, dude. What are you doing? So we could swing across here. Look to try and see if we can do that, but uh, yeah, we can still do it. If we go there, when his rook comes here, attacking the bishop. Then we can swing up and attack the rook. Oh, but you know, this could get even fancier. Then he just goes in front of the rook, blocking. Oh, damn. I thought I had a moment of brilliance there. I'm going to have to move the rook. So if we did bring it here, we know the rook's going to be attacking the bishop. So it's going to be coming down for our king, so we could bring the bishop here. Protecting the pawn. And then he could get a draw type thing going up and down. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. We know they're coming for the bishop. I don't think there's anything else. Sometimes it looks different when, you, when they actually make the move, but that's what I think is going to happen. I mean, obviously, we can get this pawn as well, but we've got to look positionally on the board to see what is really happening. Because he keeps putting checks on my king, closing me down. He's got a knight, don't forget. Whoa. Power surge. Oh, that's not messed with my Wi-Fi. No, it looks like looks good. What's with the oh thunder, thunder and lightning? Oh, 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 oh. oh no, that means our power's gonna go shooting off. We've got some weak electric around here. Oh, that's not good. I need to go get my torch sorted. Hurry up, hurry up! Need to finish this game now. Wi-Fi is still on. Why are they taking so long? It's attacking a higher piece, so you'd think that's going to be the obvious move to make. Yeah, I can take your pawn, but I'm going... What? Also, he's moved his king out of the way, so basically when we do this, he's just going to go up and down, maybe. Is there something better now, then? Because we didn't expect that. We do have a spot here as well. If he doesn't take, then we can go across and get a draw. Maybe or something. Let's hit. But they might be really good with the knight. So I'm quickly just going for the rook exchange. But they might be... Whoa, whoa that's heavy. That's heavy thunder. That's too close, dude. Um, let's attack the knight as well. So we're plus one. If the knight moves, well, we can take the knight off the board. Yeah, okay. I think the king should be fast enough to do something. Let's go here. Should we focus on this because these can look after themselves? Yeah. Yeah. Pull. Let's push here. Let's go this way because it takes, we take. And. Go 
go this way. Unless, of course, he's got some magic. We should be able to push, push. Take. So we've got a pass pawn here. Let's push. Give them things to think about now. Quick, quick, quick. I need to get my torch. Let's push. Let's take. There's no way made this is possible that they're going to gain advantage here, surely. Let's just protect the pawn. And he's going nowhere now. Whew. Okay, let's just come here. Let's take all possibilities of them getting any type of promotion and avoid any stalemates now. You would expect a resignation at this point, but some players keep playing on because they think you're going to stalemate them. Which is, I suppose, is not a bad idea. Or they'll just let their time run out. I have to sit around for 20 odd minutes. Which is what we have. Hey, game abandoned. Nice one. Okay, good game.